He is known for being a British political reformer, ornithologist, civil servant, and botanist who worked in British India. He is recognized for founding the Indian National Congress and supporting the idea of self-governance by Indians. His name is Alan Octavian Hume. In the annals of Indian history, one name stands out as a true visionary, Alan Octavian Hume. Hume, a British political reformer, ornithologist, civil servant, and botanist, dedicated his life to improving the lives of the Indian people and fighting for their self-governance. His contributions to ornithology earned him the title, the Father of Indian Ornithology, and the Pope of Indian Ornithology. As an administrator in Itava, Hume witnessed firsthand the misgovernance that led to the Indian Rebellion of 1857. Determined to make a difference, he implemented reforms that transformed the district into a model of development. Hume's dedication to the welfare of the common people earned him respect and admiration. Hume's passion for ornithology was unmatched. He founded the journal Stray Feathers, where he and his subscribers recorded detailed notes on birds from all corners of India. Through his extensive network of correspondence and collection expeditions, Hume built an impressive collection of bird specimens in his home in Shimla. Although he faced setbacks, including the loss of his manuscripts, he persevered and gifted his collection to the Natural History Museum in London, making it the largest collection of Indian bird skins to this day. Hume, a brilliant mind in the field of philosophy, had a humble beginning in Westminster, London. Born as a younger son to Joseph Hume, a radical Scottish member of Parliament, and Maria Burnley, Hume's early life was shaped by his upbringing in the bustling city. He received his education through private tutoring until the age of 11, dividing his time between their townhouse in London and their country estate, Burnley Hall in Norfolk. With a thirst for knowledge, Hume pursued higher education at University College Hospital, where he delved into the fields of medicine and surgery. His intellectual curiosity led him to be nominated for the Indian Civil Services, which paved the way for him to study at the prestigious East India Company College, Haleybury. It was during this time that Hume's mind was influenced by the likes of his friend John Stuart Mill and the renowned philosopher Herbert Spencer. However, Hume's journey took an unexpected turn when he briefly served as a junior midshipman aboard a Navy vessel in the Mediterranean in 1842. This experience added a sense of adventure to his life and brought him an exposure to different cultures and perspectives. It was a formative period that would shape his future endeavors. Do you want to explore more scientists? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.